nag-overtime, nag-overnight, kaya lang uh, malakas yung bagyo, hindi siya makaalis, and hindi niya maka- hindi, hindi makatating-dating yung kanyang replacement, so nag-stay siya doon hanggang, hanggang naramdaman niya yung nagkakaroon na uh, signs of the beginning of apocalypse. Nagkakaroon na lahat sa mga naniniwala, meron ng trumpet sound, meron mga dead moving, so doon niya na at nag-iisa lang siya doon. One location and one night. Paano po nagsimula itong idea for night shift? And how, how did you choose your chapters? Um, I chanced upon an article sa... I think that was in New York Times. Uh, merong isang doctor, uh, his name is Sam Parnia, P-A-R-N-I-A. Ang, tapos nag-TED Talk siya eh, nag-TED Talk siya. And became popular. I think he started this talk in 2010. Uh, ang sabi niya, and it's proven, kasi he works in uh, the New York University uh, Medical uh, Department. Ang sabi niya that pag namatay daw yung tao, and this is true, ha, uh, na-prove na niya to, na-prove ng lahat, pag namatay yung tao, ang unang nawala saan, mamatay sa atin yung ating vital organs, yung katawan natin, Pero surprisingly, at marami hindi nakakaalam, na after you die pala, meron pang brain activity for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes even longer and nobody knows yet. Kaya ngayon nire-research nila yun. Nire-research nila kung hanggang gaano katagal. Kaya pala daw, pag nagkakaroon tayo ng out-of-body experience, pag na-revive yung tao sa pagkagaling sa pagkamatay, sabihin niya, alam niyo ba, na nung pinapap niyo ako at nung inoperahan ako nung nabuhay, uh, nung doon ako sa uh, OR, nakikita ko yung lahat. So saan daw galing yun? Galing sa sa consciousness nung mind ng tao. Pero depende sa interpretation, depende sa religion, depende sa religious background or whatever. Kung Catholic ka, sabihin mo nakakita ko na yung ray of light. Pero according to the research, since buhay yung brain mo, the part of the brain at the back, Yun yung when you die, at nag, nag electrical impulses, nag, nag-create ito ng parang flash ng light. Kaya, parang, kaya pala tayo nakakita ng light at the end of the tunnel. That's the research right now. And a uh, ongoing pa rin yan. And then, Dr. Parnia, I communicated with him, and he gave me part of his, uh, he, he gave me an approval to use his study and to use his code para gamit him for the story of Night Shift. So do not start yon. So how do we start with that? So, yang conception, ang character niya is si Jesse, works in a morgue. Ang tanong ngayon is, what if yung mga patay na na surrounding her, hindi pa talaga sila technically dead? What if? Kasi sinabi natin, uy, wala nang hinga, uh, namumutla na siya, uh, teggy na yan, <laughs> namatay na yan. But no, no. Five seconds, 50 seconds, 10 minutes, posibleng buhay pa yan. So that's the problem of Yam's character now. How does she face all this death or dead suddenly manifesting resurrection? So how did you choose Yam? Yeah. Oh, if I If you see Yam's performance in any of her shows, it's an easy answer. Yam's my first choice and only choice to do this role. Yeah. Ako ba yun? Ah, yes. Hi, sorry. How did you uh, react when you found out that you're, you're the first only choice for the role? Uh, Ngayon ko lang naman nalaman ako yung first and only choice. So, um, wow, thank you so much. Because I've always been a fan of Derek Yam and Diana's work. Um, of course, he is known for his beautiful cinematography, yung storytelling niya. Ang galing talaga. Um, may mga friends nga ako na sobrang fan ng movie niya na sigaw. So, nung sinabi ko sa kanila, Uy, I'm gonna do a movie with Derek Yam. And oh my God, the director from Sigaw. Oh my God, sorry, we're so excited for you. And um, actually, hindi uh, ko pa ata ng kwento sa inyo, but I was still taping um, Halik at that time when Derek Yam messaged me. 
asking me if I was open to do a film with him. And then, sabi sa kanya, anong film direct? Tapos sabi niya, ito yung selling point ni direct yan. Sabi niya, it's a contained cerebral horror happening in one night and in one place, a morgue. So I remember your your message to me at that time, and sabi ko, hmm, pwede. Tapos sabi ko, sige, direct, we should meet up, and so we could talk about it more. And then we met up in Carrie's, I remember that time, and then, um, yun, nung binasa ko yung first draft, sabi ko, hmm, pwede, ako sa ganda. Nung binasa ko yung second draft, iba na naman, nag-iba na naman yung perspective ko sa script, until nabasa ko yung final draft, sabi ko, wow, until I read it, for the nth time, siguro, mga, ang dami kong best pinasa eh. Um, Iba-ibang location din, parang ibang experience siya habang binabasa mo siya for, you know. Um, so, how did you prepare yourself for the role? For the role? Um, pinasa ko yung script a lot of times. Maraming beses ko siyang pinasa. Yun yung preparation ko for the role. And of course, I even watched a lot of horror films again. Um, so yun din yung aking preparation sa character. And then pretty much halos lahat ng nangyari sa film, kumbaga, dun na, at the moment na lang, um, while shooting, dun ko na lang parang, oh, self-discovery. Ah, you know, just at that moment, scene per scene. 